Hi guys, yasas, que calos te to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to show you how, to, how I make my morning cup of Greek coffee. I've already done a Greek coffee video to kind of uh, show you how to make Greek coffee for, you know, when guests come over, a small, cute, demi tasse cup. But I drink a huge cup of coffee in the morning because I do need it. I love it. It gets my day going. It's a little bit of time that I have to myself, a little quiet time, probably the only quiet time I have throughout the day. I'm going to show you how I make it because I've gotten so many questions from you guys regarding this. Uh, it's really easy. Let's get started. You're just going to need a few things. This is known as a briki in Greek, a little pot that makes a Greek coffee. You're going to need your cup. You don't need, to, it doesn't need to be a big mug like this. You can definitely make it in smaller cups or even bigger cups. It depends how much water your, your little briki will hold. And then some Greek coffee. Now, this is all that's left of the brand of the bag that I use. It's called Lumidis. It's my favorite. You can get it on Amazon or your local uh, Mediterranean or Middle Eastern grocery store. The coffee is ground into a powder. That's what makes it so different. So what you're going to do, the cup that you're using, you're going to fill it up with water so that way you know how much you're going to need. And then you're going to pour it into your little briki. Now you can use a regular stove top, but I love these little burners over here, these gas cooktops. They're usually sold in the camping section of uh, stores, maybe camping stores or a big supermarket that has a little camping section. This is what they use in Greece and it makes the coffee so quickly. I just love it. They don't have gas stove tops in Kriti, at least where I'm from. So everyone has one of these and they make their coffee on it. And I bought one too because it just makes it so easy. So before I light it, so I have my water in here. I'm going to add a heaping teaspoon of Greek coffee. When I say heaping, I mean like a mountain of it to the top. And then because you can't sweeten Greek coffee afterwards, you sweeten it while you're cooking it. I like to put a scant, like less than a half a teaspoon of sugar in mine. I like it very lightly sweet. You can leave it completely unsweetened if that's what you like or sweeten it with a little more sugar. Just give it a light mix. You don't have to stir it too much. The coffee does not have to dissolve and sink down to the bottom. That is all you need to do. Then go ahead and put it on a stove top or what I'm like what I'm using or a regular cooktop and you're not going to step away. You're going to cook this until it just begins to boil. I used to boil it before, but I made it now so many times. I found this little trick where it looks like it's starting to puff up a little bit and where it's about to come to a boil. That's when you want to take it off of the heat because that's when the coffee is going to have the most crema or kaimaki on top. And that is just that, that creamy top that you need to have in a good cup of Greek coffee. Then you just pour it in your cup and it's ready to serve. That's it. It's just that simple. Of course you want to serve this with some Melo Macarona if you have them on hand. These are my Greek honey cookies. If you haven't tried them, I'll put the recipe down below so you can make them. They're so good. That's it. That's how you, that's all it takes to make a delicious cup of Greek coffee. Now in Greece, they usually serve Greek coffee with a big glass of cold water or room temperature water, whatever you like, but that's it. That's how easy it is to make. You want to, you want to sip it while it's still nice and hot with a little bite of the cookie. I hope you guys give this coffee a try. It's supposed to even be a little bit healthier than a regular drip coffee. I'll put a link where you can get some Greek coffee down below on Amazon if you can't find it locally. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. If you want to learn how to make Melo Macarena, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.